Hey everybody, good morning. Uh, happy Monday, if you can call it that. Um, I'm here to uh, making this video to discuss what I've promised to discuss, what I've been researching for over a week now, just heavily researching, losing sleep over. Um, it's been hard. I, I mean, it's been a lot to take in. For those who sat there and told me that this isn't complicated and that, you know, that there's, there's nothing to this, shut up. Yes, it is. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, can we sum it all up in, in one thing? Injustice, absolutely. But it's still a lot to learn and to take in. And I don't even know the half of it either. But I'm going to tell you what I know, okay? I'm going to start off really quick telling you about this week that I've had, you know. So I'm researching all this stuff. It's breaking my heart every day. I'm having to switch roles here going from doing this research and being heartbroken and just wanting to just break down and, and ask God how and why, right? But then I have to switch back into mom mode and I have to switch back into girlfriend mode and I have to switch back into just being uh, being content with life, which is very difficult for me, understanding what's happening in other places that I have no control over. I can't do, the only thing that I can do about this issue is what I'm doing right now. And that's spreading awareness, that's it. And I feel so helpless regardless. So I'm gonna do the best I can here. I know people are saying, you know, hey, I've been researching this for 20 years. Okay, great, but I don't know. So I'm doing the best I can, okay? So I'm gonna start out with this little story what happened yesterday. You know, all week long I'm going through this, right? But yesterday, you know, I we went to a church that we don't normally go to. Uh, I went there because a family member was getting baptized, um, which I'm very proud of him. Amazing, I'm so happy that you went and did that, but you know, um, and I'm not, before anybody gets crazy, I'm not saying nothing bad about this church or nothing, okay, I'm just going to tell you the story of what happened, so we're sitting there, I'm leery about going to other churches, I just, I have a church that I go to that I love, so I'm very leery of attending other people's churches, we go to this church, and it's the pastor's last day there, uh, and you know, the pastor's talking about, you know, tithes and, and things like that, and this pastor said that um, we need to be giving more money to Israel. You all know what I've been discussing here. So imagine my thought process right then. I was like, huh? Oh, God. You know, oh my God. Help me, God. So I'm sitting there like, help me, God. What? So he keeps on talking and he's like, yeah, we need to do this because we are supposed to be protecting these people. We are supposed to be, be protecting Israel and the people in it. And so we need to be giving more money to this place because that's God's chosen people. That's what he said. Immediately, I was finished. I mean, I, I don't, you know, I took in some of the good that he said. And, and listen, I, I, I understand that this is the belief. I get it. I understand. I've read the Bible. Okay, I know. I know what's in it. I know what it says about Israel, you know, thousands of years ago. All right. So I know that, but... I don't comprehend how God has a chosen people whenever he created everybody here. He created everybody here. Why would he create all these people but only choose a group of people that should be protected out of everybody else in the whole world? That has no logic. There's no logic. I don't, that's nobody. How could you even think that way? Why would you believe that? Just because it's in the Bible? I, sorry. Okay, so anyway... I was mad because I, I remembered that we already give billions of dollars to Israel every year. We give billions of dollars to Israel every year. American taxpayers. Do we understand why? Do we know why? Have you guys asked, hey, hello, do we, why do we give that much money? Well, maybe you should ask, okay? But before I get, I'm not even going to, I can't get into all that because there's so much here. What I want to focus on here is... The human suffering, the injustices that are happening over there, okay? I posted some videos and some articles for everybody to look up, to research, to decide for yourselves, judge for yourselves what you think about this, okay? I did that because I've been doing all this research and I already know how I feel about this, but I feel like Americans need to also come up with their own conclusion about how they feel about this and maybe demand some answers as to why this is okay and why our media isn't covering it. Why is it that I'm getting videos from over there with Israeli 
government officials, whoever they are, police, whatever you want to call them, harassing, if not harassing, beating, if not beating, killing innocent individuals, including children. Children. If that was happening here, that would not be okay. Well, somebody would might want to say, well, that's in the Middle East. I mean, that's normal. No, it's not supposed to be normal from America's number one ally who claims to be all about God and Jesus. They're Jews. They're Jewish, right? Well, why is this happening then? Why is this happening? If they're God's chosen people, why would God choose people that like that to be supported and taken care of whenever some of them are doing things that any other race of people or belief of people would do? I'm not understanding why do we support Israel so much? Is it because of what's in the Bible? Well, that's not a good enough reason. Unfortunately for this country and this constitution, that is not a good enough reason. What do they do for us? Oh, they're the only allies we have in the Middle East. So what? They'll continue to be that ally even if we don't fund them this much money. We are funding murder of innocent people. America. I mean, I'm, I can't, I can't even describe to you how upsetting it is to me that my money, my money that I work hard for, some of my money, even a penny, a half a penny, goes to something like that. And nobody should be okay with that. Nobody here should be all right with that. Nobody. People need to watch these videos. You need to know what's happening over there. You need to understand that this is human suffering. I don't care if it's in another country. It's in a country that we support financially and militarily. It's wrong. I could get into details on Zionism and, and everything else <clears throat> that's happening there. I could do that, right? But um, that's just, I can't even start with the beginning of it. It's so much. I feel like people need to be aware of this and we need to care about this, okay? This is not right. I have a 13 year old son. That little boy, Ahmed, that got shot in the head and lying on the ground bleeding while people are around him chanting for him to die. My son is his age and I cannot imagine my baby boy being on the ground like that with people around him chanting for him to die and nobody caring to help him. Why are we okay with this? I know that there's suffering everywhere in the world. I get it. I understand that, right? But we fund this kind of suffering and that's the problem that I have with it. We have to do something about this. We have to speak out against this. I mean, I am sorry. I've been crying all week. I'm trying so hard. I just don't understand it. And I just feel like as humans, we need to care. We need to try to do something about this. We need to open our eyes. This is, it's not the way it's supposed to be. And people are profiting off of the suffering of others. And I can't sit here and imagine another dime of my money going towards something like that. And I don't think many people, I believe many people would feel the same way I would feel if you've seen these videos and if you knew what was happening. So I put it out there for you to know what's happening. And I pray to God that you guys do something about this. Okay. I'm just letting everybody know that this has killed me on the inside. I mean, it has hurt me so bad. <laughs> Of course, I'm going to keep my focus on this, right? But I have to take a break from this for a minute because it's literally, I can't deal. I can't take it. So I'm just praying that it'll get better and this is the best I can do. Palestinians, all of you who are going through it, I'm really sorry. <laughs> and I pray for all of you, I do. I'm really sorry. And I hope that this will help you. I really do, okay? All right.